What's up everyone, it's Nick McCollum here and in this video we're going to be working through the practice problems on sets from my course on Python Fundamentals. Now before we dig in, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you can get all of my future videos showing you how to become a better software developer. With that out of the way, let's dig into these practice problems on Python sets. Let's start with problem 1, which says create a set called my set that has three elements in it. To do this we'll start by writing the variable name, my set, and then we will type the assignment operator which is the equal sign. On the other side of that, we need to create the set. So as you'll recall from the lesson, sets are instantiated with curly brackets like this. And then within those braces, we need to put three elements. For simplicity's sake, I will just do one, two, and three. So that's, uh, that's problem one. To make really sure this is a set, we can actually put the variable name into the uh, type function, which will return set if this is a set. And you can see it says set, so we are good to go. Let's move on to problem two, which says add the string pepper to the following set. To do this, we will say spices.add, and then within the add method, we will type the argument pepper. Perfect, now to make sure this worked, we can actually print the spices set, and if there's pepper on the end of it or within it anywhere, then we are good to go. Pepper is right there, so we are all set. Let's move on to problem three, which says calculate the length of the following set. Now we saw with lists, with strings, and with uh, many other data structures that you can use the len method, sorry, function, not a method, like that to calculate the length of a data structure. This also works with sets, so we can put in here Eastern Canada Province Capitals, and it shows six. So let's just use the eyeball test to make sure that's right. Ottawa is one, Fredericton is two, Quebec City is three, Halifax is four, Charlottetown is five, and St. John's is six. So we are good to go. Now problem four says remove Moscow from the following set. And there's actually two ways to do this. We will use the discard method. So to do this, we first type the variable name, Western Canada Province Capitals. I'm actually going to copy and paste that because that is a horrendously long variable name. On the end of the variable, we type the dot operator and then the discard method, followed by round brackets. And in the round brackets, we need to type the argument of whatever we're trying to discard from the set. In this case, it is Moscow. So we will type Moscow in here and we are good to go. To make sure that Moscow was properly removed, we can actually print the variable. So print Western Canada Province Capitals, and this should print the set without the Moscow element. As you can see, Moscow has been removed and we are good to go. So that is all of our practice problems on Python sets. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to this channel if you want more content on how to become a better software developer. Thanks.